So we're going to be getting Act 1 for Anthem and of course it is split into three sections. They are called Evolving World, Stronger Together and the Cataclysm. All that we know so far is that the Cataclysm part of the Act 1 will be a limited timed event in the world. So if we go back to the demo guys, this was the giant storm that was in the sky and a, a number of huge giant enemies were spawned around the world and you would go and take them on in groups. I never actually managed to do this when I was playing the demo uh, because I was actually playing solo so that was a shame. Let me know if any of you guys actually managed to do that. Uh, it's going to be pretty exciting of course as I say, limited time event but I am looking forward to taking some of those guys down with my friends. So in Act 1 overall, we can actually see what we're going to be expecting in terms of new content. So we're going to be seeing new events, quality of life, new rewards, new weapons, new armor items. Also, we're going to be seeing a new stronghold as well, which is pretty exciting in my opinion because the three strongholds now are getting a bit tedious, you know, and seemingly so everyone just uses this tyrant mind because it's the shortest one and the easiest one to do. We're also going to be seeing the introduction of guild and leaderboards. Uh, basically, a guild and anthem could function like a clan in Destiny, if any of you guys are familiar with that system that was in Destiny, uh, where the rewards are shared out between your players in the game. We're also going to be seeing new missions as well. So, Bioware actually previously revealed that the story of Anthem would be progressing even after launch. So, we can expect new story missions. And I, for one, am excited for that. Let me know if you guys are excited for that because I quite enjoyed Anthem's story uh, so far. I know there's a few people out there that would disagree with me, but probably an unpopular opinion. I'm not sure. Uh, just discuss in the comment section, guys, and let me know. And then, like I said, I've already discussed this, but the Cataclysm, which is the world-changing event in the game, uh, with the powerful enemies. Hopefully, Bioware, fingers crossed, they grant us greater rewards than what we're actually seeing at the moment. And like I said, I'm not even going to talk about the loot and whatnot in this video. This is just strictly what's going to be coming to Anthem, and I, for one, am really excited. Regardless of how loot has been in the past, because I haven't actually been able to make a build video. I've really been wanting to make one. I've been putting time on my ranger and my interceptor and i haven't really been getting the drops i wanted to so in the future of course i will try and make builds for those but you know if you're not getting the drops rng even when you do get some nice legendaries you might not get the role that is necessary to make a build but anyway guys straight away from that we are rambling so guys i want to talk a little bit more about the stronghold and it's titled and named the sunken so the sunken stronghold which will be introduced with uh, the march update and dlc uh, will actually have its own weekly challenge also so far there is no confirmation of any paid dlc and ea has yet to announce any of that um, but we probably may see that in the future such as destiny did with the game they made and you know to be honest i haven't got a problem with that as long as the dlc is worth paying for to be honest some of the uh, destiny dlcs were worth it and some weren't in my opinion i'm not going to go into that and delve in i'm hoping we see bigger expansions and by that i mean uh, referring to the dlc packs that you would have to pay for i want to see some sort of raid system implemented into the games i know it's uh, sort of like destiny but i would just love to see that and maybe making it a six-man sort of you know raid mode mission uh, let me know your opinions on that guys i just think that would uh, be a good way to get better loot i've always said it guys as well and i think that if you refer to destiny and put them in comparison because they are two similar games uh, you know with the loot system and whatnot i feel that strongholds are equivalent to strikes so i would love to see them implement the raid system like destiny had as well just to offer higher difficulty and better rewards and you more unique rewards and um, you know more specifically the other thing i want to point out guys i want to see bioware address the boss loot pools it doesn't seem that we can get legendaries from these bosses and i did talk about this in my previous video but it doesn't seem such a hard task to actually grant it so that they can drop a legendary because if we are running through strongholds and they do have a chance to drop legendary people are more likely to finish them because they know that the boss has a chance to drop the legendary if you know that it's only going to drop a masterwork that could be a duplicate or a bad roll you just you know you're put off boy that's what people uh, were doing the method that i made a video about with the monitor and the heart of rage stronghold people aren't going to want to go through and fight a boss that isn't going to drop great loot at the end of it 
I wanted to make this video short as well. Hopefully, I've covered a lot of information. Hopefully, you guys are excited. I am excited. I am still here with Anthem, and we're going to be on the channel talking about Anthem and creating more content on Anthem. So, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, like the video, leave a comment, and let me know your thoughts. I really appreciate the support on the channel, guys. Can't thank you guys enough. Let's try and make it 300 subscribers, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.